Okay, so next we're going to be working with some properties of kite. Okay, for kite, we know that the short sides of the kite are congruent. We know the long sides are congruent. We know the diagonals form a right angle. The short diagonal is being bisected, so those parts are congruent right there. Okay, so those are the properties that we know about a kite. Now, if we know that AB is 6, we also know that this part over here, BC, is 6, so we can fill that in. If we know that C, we are looking for CD, if we know DA is 13, which is over here, then CD must also be 13. Okay, one thing we know is the whole diagonal, A to C, the whole thing is 11. So if I want to find half of that, which is this part, AE, half of 11, and you can do this on your calculator, would be 5.5. So that would be the length of AE and also of EC. Both of these would be half of 11, which is 5.5. So AE is 5.5 and CE is 5.5. I'm going to erase my like my markings because my diagram is getting kind of crazy again. Alright, so it told us DE was 12. So this part here is 12. Okay, it also told us that BE was 5. Now that yellow part and that blue part, those are not congruent. Okay, um, that's not part of being a kite. Um, you don't have both diagonals congruent, it's only the short diagonal is being bisected, so that one has congruent parts. But this question right here is asking me to find DB. DB is the whole entire thing, so I'm just going to add 12 plus 5 because it's both the parts together, and I would get 17 for that, so that would be the answer for DB. Okay, so now let's take a look at the angles. I know that there's a right angle. All Each and every one of these little angles in the center, they're all right angles. Okay, they gave me two angles to use here. They gave me D-A-E. Okay, D-A-E. That's right there. Okay, that angle, 72. Okay, they also gave me E, A, B. Okay, let's take a look at where E, A, B is. E, A, B, that's this one right here. Okay, that one is 41. Okay, knowing these angles is going to help me find a lot of other angles in this kite. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a bunch of these other angles and then I'll fill them in. Okay, so one thing I know is that this triangle here, all the angles add up to 180. So I'm going to use the two angles I know, which are 41 and 90, to find the missing angle in that green triangle. Okay, so I'm going to do 41 plus 90. And I'll subtract from 180. So for this one, I get 49. Okay, now, one thing I do know about a kite is that this angle here and this angle here are congruent, so this one is also 49. Okay, one other thing I know about the kite is that these two triangles, these two smaller triangles, this one here and this one here are congruent to each other. So if this angle over here is 41, then this little angle right here is also 41. Okay, I also know that this triangle here is congruent with this one here in blue. 
So if this angle over here is 72, then this one over here will also be 72. Now, the only angle left that I want to find would probably be this one right here. Okay. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use this right triangle. I know all the angles add up to 180. So I'm going to go ahead and add 72 plus 90. That's 162 and subtract from 180. So for this angle over here, I get 18 degrees. Now, one thing I know is that this angle right here and this one next to it are going to be the same. So if this one's 18, so is this one right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and fill in my answers. Okay, so angle A, B, E, A, B, E, right here. That's 49. Okay, E, B, C, E, B, C, right there. 49 also. B, C, E, right here. That's 41. E, C, D, right here. 72. C, D, E. This one. That one's 18. Okay, E, D, A. That one's also 18. Alright, A, E, B. A, E, B. That's that one right here. That's the right angle. That's 90. B, E, C. If you trace that one over, that's also a right angle, 90. C, E, D. Also a right angle. And D, E, A. Also a right angle.